Hello, my wonderful Jumpstart friends. How are you? My name is Miss Ikra. So in today's Let's Find Out About It, we'll be talking about the sense of sight. So I know this week you read The Lion and the Little Red Bird. And so our activity for today is inspired by the book as well. All right, so you won't really need many materials for this assignment. I have a game plan for the end that you, get, that you can follow me along on. And if you would like to play a version of that game on your own, you can do that as well, but you won't need any materials as such. So let's get started. All right, so today we'll be talking about the sense of sight in our Let's Find Out About It. So in the book, we know that the lion and the bird, they speak different languages, right? And they can understand each other, but the bird sees that the lion has changed color because of the sense of sight because of the vision and because of her eyes, right? And so at one point in the book, uh, the lion takes the bird into, into the cave. And so it says, and carried her into the cave. The cave was warm and colorful. The walls were filled with pictures of green forests, orange flowers, butterflies, sunsets, a bright blue sky and a deep blue lake. So this, the pictures on these pages they're so colorful, that they're so bright. And we're able to see all of this because of our eyes. Our eyes allow us to see. And sight is actually one of our senses. So you know how we have the sense of hearing and we use our ears to hear, and we have the sense of taste and we use our mouth and our tongue to taste. And then one of our other senses is our sense of smell and we use our nose. Well, sight, and vision is also one of our senses, and we use our eyes for that. So our eyes are made up of a bunch of different parts, and I'll go over just a few of them today, just to give you an idea of how we're able to see things. So on our eyes, we have an upper eyelid, and that is the top of our eye. It's labeled right here. So we have our upper, upper eyelid. Then we have the sclera, the sclera is the white portion of our eye. We usually just call it the whites of our eyes, but its proper per term is the sclera. Then we've got the pupil of the eye. The pupil is that black dot in the middle of our eye. That's called the pupil. Then we have the iris. The iris is what surrounds that black dot in the middle. So it surrounds the pupil and the iris can be different colors, right? Like my iris is dark brown, but some people's eyes have blue eyes and so their iris will be blue and some people have green eyes and so their iris will be green. And so our the color of our iris, that is what the color of our eyes is. Next, we have the caruncle. And so the caruncle is in the inner of our eye. And that's where we sometimes get those eye boogers. So that's where the caruncle is. And then we have our lower eyelid. So that's just the bottom of our eye, right? And so our upper eyelid, we've got eyelashes and our lower eyelid, we've also got eyelashes. And then we have the eyebrow right there. So the eyebrow, so the eyebrow and the eyelashes, what they help us do is they help keep away dust and other things from getting into our eye. And so they're, they almost protect our eyes right from the top. And then the eyelashes also protect our eyes. But we use the pupil and the iris and the lens of our eye to actually see things. Isn't that so cool? So some people can have weak eyesight like I do, I'm wearing glasses. And what happens is sometimes some people can have their lens isn't working properly or there's some problem in their eye that causes them to see things that are not clear anymore. So when, it, when they're looking at things, the things become blurry. And then there's two types of these, right? There's nearsightedness and there's farsightedness. Nearsightedness is when we can see clearly the things that are close to us, the things that are near us, but then far away, those things become blurry. That's what I have. I have nearsightedness. So anything that's up close, I can see, right? And I have this pencil right here. I can clearly see this, but things that are far away, that chair on the other side of the room, I can't see that very clearly. So I have nearsightedness. And so I wear glasses to fix that. So when I'm wearing my glasses, 
I can also see things that are on the other side and I can see things that are far away and clearly, and they're no longer blurry. Then we have farsightedness. People that have farsightedness, they don't have a problem seeing things that are far away. Things that are far away, they can see clearly, but anything that is close to them, they can't see it. It's, they can see it, but it's blurry. And so that's not what I have. So it's the opposite. For them, they wouldn't be able to see this pencil clearly, but then that chair on the other side of the room, they'll be able to see that clearly. So they have farsightedness because things that are far away, they're able to see clearly. Now, both of these problems can be fixed by wearing glasses and there's different types of lenses that are put into the glasses depending on if you have nearsightedness or if you have farsightedness. So I have nearsightedness, I wear glasses for nearsightedness and so now I can see things that are far away clearly and the things that are closely clear. So do any of you have glasses? Yeah, can you tell me which ones? Yeah, so a lot of people have glasses and it's totally fine. As long as we're able to see things clearly, that's all that matters. So this is an example of what I was saying. So the first picture here is normal. We have this rock and we've got this beautiful waterfall in the back and a lake, right? But then nearsightedness, people who have this, for me, for example, I can, if I'm not wearing my glasses, I can only see this rock clearly. And in the background, the waterfall that's far away, I can't see that clearly, it's very blurry for me. But when I put on my glasses, it becomes normal. But people who have farsightedness, they can see that waterfall that is far away, they can see that clearly. But the rock that's up close to them, they can't see that, it's blurry for them. So both of these situations one thing or the other is blurry, and so we wear glasses, so then our vision can become normal, which is also known as 2020 vision. So we can have other types of lenses as well. So we've got the lenses that are in our eyes that help us see, and then we've got the lens on glasses so that people who have weak eyesight are able to see things that are more clearly, right? But there's also other types of lenses. So one of the lenses is used in binoculars right here. So they're put in the binoculars. And when we wear binoculars, what we're able to see is things far away. So it almost zooms in on the pictures. So if I'm standing really far away from something and I take my binoculars, put them up to my eyes, I can see things that are far, far away, right? So that's what binoculars help us do. They almost zoom in on things. And then something else that does something similarly is a magnifying glass. So magnifying glass, they have curved lenses. And so when we hold up a magnifying glass to something, it magnifies it. It makes it appear bigger than it is. So I think, for example, in this picture, we're seeing that we have grass and then somebody's held up the magnifying glass. And so now we can see the grass almost zoomed in and we can see the details of the glass too now because it's been magnified. Now, the other type of lens can be used in sunglasses. So in sunglasses, they also have glass that is put in, but their glass is tinted. And so when we go outside in the sun, sometimes it can be so bright and so it's hard for us to see. So we might have to squint our eyes, right? Like in the picture, you can see that it's really bright outside. But then when we wear sunglasses, the sunglasses help reduce that brightness. And so the tint that's in those lenses, it makes everything appear a little bit darker. And so then we don't have to squint our eyes when we're outside. So these are some of the different examples of different types of lenses that we use in our daily lives. That could be from sunglasses to binoculars to magnifying glasses to normal eyesight glasses, right? What other type of lenses do you know? There's so many, we've got microscopes and so many other types of lenses that are used in our daily lives that allow us to help see things more closely or more clearly. So let's play a game now. Now that we know that our eyes help us see, and this is our sense of sight, 
let's play a game. So look at this picture and this game is called What's Missing. In the next two slides, I'll show you this picture again, but there will be a few things missing from this. So look at this picture and try to remember everything that you see and where it's located. Okay, now in the next slides, I'll take away one thing and I'll ask you what's missing. And then you have to tell me what, what you think is missing. Okay, you can play this game on your own as well and just put a couple of things out or ask somebody to put a couple of things out for you. Look at those and then ask that person to take those something away. You can play this game on your own as well, but let's just play it right now. So I'll give you a few minutes. Look at this picture, pause it if you have to, pause right here, look at this picture, study where everything is, and then let's go ahead and play the game. All right, so go ahead and pause and look at where everything in the picture is. All right, do you think you have everything memorized? So round one, what's missing in this picture? Shout it out for me. Are you ready for the answer? The nerf. The nerf is missing in that picture. Did you get it right? Yeah. All right, now let's go back to the first picture. Do you remember it? All right, try to remember where everything is again before we go on to play round two. You remember? All right, let's go ahead and play round two then. All right, round two, what's missing in this picture? I'll give you a few minutes. You can also pause the video right here if you need more time. All right, did you get it? What do you think it is? Shout out the answer. All right, are you ready for the answer? The toy plane, that's what was missing. Was that a fun game? That's all I have, so you can play that game on your own as well, where you can ask somebody to put out a few things for you and then ask them to take them away so you can guess what's missing. But we use our eyes for so many things. We use our eyes to draw and we use our eyes to see color and we use our eyes to see things close and to see things far away. So I hope you learned something about our sense of sight and our eyes and the different types of lenses that we might wear sometimes. And I hope you enjoyed playing that game. If you would like to play it on your own, go ahead. If you would like to play this one again, you can rewatch this video. So have a great day and I will see y'all next week. Bye-bye.